We're on the outskirts of El Dorado, Illinois at Dad's Barbecue. No, not my father's barbecue restaurant. The name of the place is just Dad's Barbecue. And there we go. Dine in, pig out, or call for cater. And well, this is the choice of mask I have, and I will wear it proudly. Now, why am what am I doing here at a barbecue joint at 844 in the morning? Well, because unless you want to go to fast food, there's only two places in this area that offer uh, sit down breakfast and both are barbecue places the other being the barbecue barn in harrisburg illinois but enough of me rambling let's go check it out oh and real quick it's a really small place inside i've only been here one other time and it's pretty packed i don't know how much footage i'll be able to get of the whole spot but i'll do my best all right so this is the menu dad's barbecue and they serve the typical mom and pop um barbecue place items but i noticed something and i've ate at ihop enough to know this you see that picture right there i swear to god that's out of an ihop menu my wife my wife pointed this out this is obviously stock photos because if you look that plate's got like a blue ring so does that one that one's got a big blue ring that one has no ring so i mean it's kind of like false advertising if you think about it I mean, because this is not pictures. I mean, I guess when we get our, get our food, we'll have to see if, like, all the, the plates have different rings on them. We'll, we'll check that out here in a minute. Otherwise, I mean, this is a load of BS because this isn't the actual food we're going to get. So I've decided to get a pulled pork sandwich and some corn nuggets for breakfast while the missus is getting a more traditional first meal of the day. Another thing with these stock photos that just litters this menu is that there is a picture of four pieces of fried chicken, but it was a breast, leg, thigh, and wing. The only four-piece meal they offer is the whole wings. I mean, what's the deal? I don't think I'm going to get a shot of the whole restaurant because this place is packed, and there's, there's a table in the corner from us that's full of, like, middle-aged men and old guys. It's, like, giving me the eye pretty hard for filming, but I'm at least going to get a shot of the bathroom. Well, for starters, it's no mystery that they remodeled this place from Menards because I used to look at that all the time there. And uh, we've got a, uh, what is that, an intercom in case, you know, they're calling that your food's ready. And, uh, you know, we got all that. It's actually, it's actually uh, pretty clean. Look at this. Dad family memories. Is this like a secret door or something? weird uh we got a fold down office desk and uh you know it's it's, it's actually a lot nicer i mean the, the rest of the restaurant ain't bad or nothing but you know sometimes you come to these mom and pop restaurants and it's the bathrooms are just total hell holes all right here's my food this is my barbecue sandwich and uh corn nuggets this is what the wife got. That bacon and hash brown looks good. And look at this syrup bottle. There was one on the other table and we thought somebody left one of their glass water <laughs> bottles over there. But it's syrup. Well, this is it. We're gonna dig in and I will give my review outside. Okay, ladies first, what do you think about your food? It was delicious. It was perfect in every way. Okay, well, mine was okay. Yeah, it didn't, didn't suck, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't the best. Uh, and, and I mean, it's one of the only two options you've got around here for a sit down breakfast. And if you're at El Dorado, it's either that, Hardee's or McDonald's. And I'd rather have, you know, dad's barbecue over, over that. Uh, we paid almost $30 for that stuff. Yeah. I love I that. Like, I know where mine was worth like 10 to 12, but yours was not worth the other 15. We did tip good because she was she helped us get all of our stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, my sandwich was pretty good, but like I said, it's not like you, you know. There's other barbecue places around here that, that hit it home way way better than that. But I mean, the sandwich was good. But for the value to add up, it would have to be like a six dollar sandwich, four dollar corn nuggets. Corn dog like corn nuggets were two dollars and twenty nine cents, which I think is pretty pretty overpriced considering what well, I got like six corn nuggets, something like that. Um, the no. drinks were thirty two ounce styrofoam cups, and she refilled them, so that's nice. And I apologize, this is a bit of a lackluster review, but. Uh, like I said, it, it's a it's a really small place, and of all the places I film, and some people get pissed, some people don't. This is the one that I felt like if 
you know, they would have really found out what I was doing. I would have ended up out back in the smoker. It just it gave off a really kind of uh, eerie vibe. Did, you said those guys were eyeballing me, right? It, they, yeah, they were wondering why you were videoing stuff. It was like a table full of like, it was like nine older white men. I don't know. So when I go to dad's barbecue, uh, if it was that or the other places in town, the fast food joints, most definitely, but we drove what, like 20 minutes? Something yeah, like that. I don't know, like six out of 10 would sort of recommend. Yeah, that she said it best. Till next time, folks, have a great one.